All right, folks, let me take you on an enchanting journey through the Algarve, Portugal's southernmost region. Let's dive into the details, shall we? The Algarve is a land of contrasts, a place where the ancient and the modern coexist in harmony, starting from the extreme southwestern point. Sagers, you'll find a place steeped in history. Sagers is not your typical touristy spot. It's more for those who appreciate the quieter, more authentic Portuguese experience. It's a surfer's paradise, especially from September to November. The Algarve, a region that has been a crossroads of cultures for centuries, is a place where the sun shines brighter and the ocean sings louder. With over 300 days of sunshine a year, it's no wonder that this southernmost region of Portugal has become a haven for tourists. The climate is Mediterranean, characterized by mild winters and hot, dry summers. So if you're planning a trip, the best time to visit would be from May to October when the weather is at its finest. Ver taint. But let's not forget, the Algarve is not just a pretty face. It has a rich history that dates back to the Roman times. The name Algarve itself comes from the Arabic Algarve, meaning the West, a nod to its Moorish past. The Moors ruled the region for over 500 years, leaving behind a legacy that can still be seen in the architecture and cuisine. The Castle of Silves, for instance, is a well-preserved Moorish fortress that offers panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. It's a must-visit for history buffs. Fast forward to the Age of Discoveries, and the Algarve becomes a significant player yet again. The town of Lagos was the starting point for many voyages to Africa and the Americas. Henry the Navigator, a key figure in Portuguese history, had his school of navigation here. Imagine standing on the cliffs of Sagres, looking out into the Atlantic and feeling the same sense of adventure and possibility that those explorers felt centuries ago. Now let's bring it back to the present. The Algarve today is a blend of the old and the new. While places like Albufeira have embraced modernity with its bustling nightlife and luxury resorts, towns like Carviero have managed to retain their old world charm. Here you can wander through cobblestone streets, dine family-run tavernas, and watch the sunset from cliffs that have stood the test of time. The beaches, oh the beaches. Praia de Marinha, Praia do Camilo, and the iconic Bonagil Cave are just a few names that you'll want to jot down in your travel diary. Whether you're kayaking through sea caves or simply soaking up the sun, the Algarve's beaches are nothing short of magical. And for those of you who are more gastronomically inclined, the Algarve will not disappoint. From the freshest seafood to the traditional pastries like pastel de nata, your taste buds are in for a treat. Now let's talk about the party capital of the Algarve Alvafara. It's the European equivalent of Cancun filled with bars and clubs, advertising shots with names like Porn Star and Sex on the Beach. If partying is not your scene, you might want to avoid this place. The Algarve is also home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, like Praia dos Pescadores, Praia da Marinha, and Praia do Camilo. Each beach has its own unique charm, from the crystal clear waters to the stunning rock formations. And if you're adventurous, you can even kayak to the famous Benagil Cave, a natural wonder that will leave you speechless. So is the Algarve worth a visit? Absolutely, whether you're a history buff, a beach bum, or someone looking for a luxurious getaway. The Algarve has something for everyone. If you want to know more about such fascinating places, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Your support means the world to us. See you in the next video. Tantir.